Hey everybody, it's Makeup Munary. Welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to show you guys a quick, easy face paint for Halloween that includes a mask. So it is mask friendly. So I ended up not using this mask, but I wanted to keep that in there so you guys could see why I had these crazy markings on my face. I went and painted that mask and it just, in the video you'll see later on, it just did not look right, so I did something else. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start with Make It Last by Milani Setting Spray. Okay, so I'm gonna use some water activated face paint. I'm gonna be mixing the yellow and the red together with this old beauty blender. And yeah, I'm just mixing it as I go. And halfway through this, you can see I am not following those lines anymore because I decided that I was not going to use that mask. So I had at this point no idea what I was gonna do, but I think it worked out in the end. So yeah, I'm just mixing the orange and the red as you can see together. And I'm gonna be doing several layers of this orange. Okay, so here I am looking good in orange like somebody we all know and hate. <laughs> Anyways, now I'm going to be mixing the black and the brown together just to sort of make it a little more dirty, a little more muddy looking. Uh, I want to be an old, I don't know if I've decided if this is a pumpkin or not, but whatever it is, I want it to be old and crusty. Okay, so here's that white mask that I went ahead and painted orange with the same face paint. Decided I did not like it. Did not know what I was going to do at this point. So I'm just moving on. I'm using this gel uh, liner by Kiss. I'm going to put that all over my eyelids. And this is an easy face paint because the messier the better. So yeah, just go crazy. I just got it all over the place. I'm gonna go in with the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I'm gonna use the dark brown and black in this palette just to set my eyes. It's a little shiny and obviously it will make a mess because that stuff really doesn't dry down too well. And I'm also gonna use it to sort of blend out the edges and make it a little more messy. Same thing on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and blend that all out, then I'm gonna set it with the black and then diffuse the edges so that it's a little less defined. Okay, I'm looking like a broke ass Deadpool or a deranged panda bear. I have not decided yet, but we are gonna continue on. Here you can see I'm dragging that out a little more. I'm using that brown just so that it's a little less defined and a little messier. Okay, I'm going in with a brush back in with that orange mixture. I feel like it was just faded a little bit there from me messing with it. So I'm just, you know, freshening it up a little bit, making it a little more orange again. Okay, still at this point, have no idea really what I'm gonna do with the mask. So we are still continuing on. I'm using that brown just to give myself a little bit of definition there. And I'm going in with an ink uh, eyeliner. This is the LA Colors one that sort of sucks, so I didn't care if I ruined it, which I ruined it. And I'm just making me some furrow brows there. And sort of some lines, I guess this is sort of like a pumpkin. But yeah, I'm just using that marker just to make some lines. And I am referencing a photo. Uh, hers turned out way better than mine, but in T way, yes, I'm just gonna go ahead and just make some weird crazy lines all across my forehead and down my face. Thank you. 
okay from broke Deadpool to a crazy deranged tiger now. <laughs> I'm telling you, I was not sure how this was going to work out in the end. Now I'm just going back in with some brown, that brown eyeshadow from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm just sort of shading on one side those lines and define or diffusing them a little bit so they're not so straight and jarring. Okay, now I'm going back in with that marker and just making some more little lines in between. I just felt like it was a little plain. So I'm just going in between the bigger lines and making some more smaller lines. Okay, so I'm gonna cover up my nose with black. At this point, I sort of have an idea what I'm gonna do with the mask situation. Now I'm just setting that with that same black powder and using that same liner just to make the nose look a little more broken, a little more jagged. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in with a darker orange mixture. I have more brown in it, and I'm also gonna add a little green, as you can see, just to sort of make it a little more messier and to uh, cover up my hairline just a little bit better. But I feel like, you know, pumpkins with green, a little moldy, you know, a little rugged. I don't know, just, it gave it more texture. Okay, so I'm going in with some Maybelline Colossal Mascara because I am going to add lashes. Now, this is a mask that I got on Amazon. It's a lot more stretchy and easier to use in regards to cutting. And that's what I decided to do was put it on inside out. I'm going to go ahead and draw some jaggedy teeth and areas to cut out so that I'm not sort of damaging the mask so it still works as a mask and yeah i'm going to go ahead and just draw out these areas to cut out i'm going to draw some jaggedy teeth and then i'm going to cut it out turn it around and put it on Okay, so this is what it looks like before I cut it out. And here is the final look. So I went ahead and cut the jaggedy spots out. It still works as a mask, so you're still protected. And yeah, just gives it a little bit of a creepy vibe. Anyway, I hope you guys like this tutorial. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Make sure to check out my Halloween playlist here with some of the looks that I've done and some looks from my favorite YouTubers.